Oh, we were all on vacation. We all had PTO that we had to use last week, so you didn't get an episode of Sweet the League. But you're getting one now, and it's the folklore edition of Sweep the League. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. The Cowboys are having a pretty decent offseason. The Texans are having a tremendous offseason as well. The Spurs are still spurring. Baseball season's around the corner. We're going to cover Missions Baseball for all you guys out there. We are credentialed for Missions Baseball. We will be covering that. Shout out to our sponsors here. Machismo Libre, the hottest hot sauce on the market. And uh, the owner has quietly, openly tweeted and said that he is debuting a barbecue sauce at the Mike Taylor Barbecue Cook-Off coming up April 1st. So you can catch us all there. Brand new debut, Machismo Libre Barbecue Sauce. And not only that... Because it's so hot, you need something to cool yourself down with. Special Leaf Tea, the guys at Special Leaf Tea are also going to be out at the barbecue. Come try some of that today. It is natural. It is healthy. It is the best thing out there. Welcome back, guys. It's Candice. It's me. It's Stats. Rocky's on the way. Now, I I don't know. He said he was running late because he's running. You're getting home for something. I have no idea what he's doing, but The Rock will join us here. Shamaya's knocking out the music thing, and Derek is knocking out the coaching thing, from what I understand. He's coaching, I believe, in Floresville now, so he's got that thing going on. But, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Are y'all, are y'all rested? Are y'all ready to go? Because we had a whole week off to get our shit together. No. I'm ready. <laughs> You're I'm not, not rested. Ready. I'm not rested, but I'm ready for this. But you work like, you got like 10 jobs. Yeah, I guess so. That's a good point. There's a, I don't know. No rest for the wicked, right? <laughs> no, we're trying to make, we're trying to be billionaires here with this thing, which so far it's, it's on the right path. It just, uh, we're running out of gas every now and then. So we need, you know, more sponsors out there to put, you know, gas in our car here to keep it going. Mm-hmm. Candace, um, I'm going to get to it early. Candace, you, you got a, uh, a, uh, what is it? Trader Joe's update for us because, in the chat, yeah. I saw you throwing the middle finger up. I saw you throwing yeah. F-bombs, everything, because a certain wine is not available at Trader Joe's right now. Yes. So I get the Seco Mungo, Mark. The what? I know you like the, I know you like the, the way what? I say Mark. The what? Mungo. No, no. What was the first word? I, I know well, you uncle? said Mungo. Uncle. I, I thought she said uncle. <laughs> I thought she said sequel, the sequel mongo. <laughs> like, that's pretty bad. Oh, gonna... seco. oh seco. there you go. <laughs> yeah. Seco mongo. And ah. uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah. So I looked it up because like me and my husband went over to Trader Joe's yesterday and he got his wine and I was going to get mine. But turns out my wine was like sold out. And I'm like, okay. So I do a quick Google search and basically like, yeah, it's, it's seasonal. But the thing is, it's a summer wine. So I'm like, are we early? Like, did, was this just like a preview? Um, but I been, I mean, I've been getting this wine for the past, like more than, a, I mean, I would say more than a month, you know? And I'm like, what what's happening? How, so, how long does wine last? Oh, my wine? Oh, well, it depends well, no. on the day. I'm talking about dates because I'm saying if if it's a seasonal thing, shouldn't you buy like seven or eight bottles? Should you go Greg Popovich? Yeah, on see, I, didn't, I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize like I should have done it because I was. I thought these were just like, oh, like these were part of like their you know normal collection. I didn't know they were seasonal. It wasn't until they were sold out, and I'm like, oh well, I guess I should have stocked up. So like I said, I normally get the mango one. I tried the peach one because I was like they didn't have the mango, so I got I got second best, which is peach. And then when I went to get back to get refills, um. They were all gone. No, it's like what the hell. So, so, so you need to buy at least a case the next a- time. Apparently, apparently. Um, but that's what the- I'm asking. How long are they good for? Like, is it? Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, wine doesn't expire. Wine just ages. Like it, it just like ages. Like you know, like the whole saying, like you age like fine wine. Um, I thought that was bullshit, but I guess yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, like the old. Apparently, the older the wine is, like the sweeter it is, or like the better, the better it is. Can we get Pop to give us uh, some kind of wine expertise? I think, I mean, he's not really doing much right now. It's not like they're winning any games or anything. So I'm sure we can get Pop to. I mean, storing it the right way helps, helps keep it good and fresh. So So do you have a wine, do you have a wine freezer, whatever they call it? No, I just have, we live in a condo. So I just have like a normal, like. All rich condo. (laughs) 
capital C. <laughs> it's a capital C of that. You know, you know, regarding your wine situation, I'll bet there's just one person who goes to your exact Trader Joe's and just hoards it. Like right. they're just going, they, they like they're secretly a big fan just like you. And they just go and buy, like they beat you to it in buying cases and just selling them all out. Because they want me to talk about them on my show, on the show. Yeah, no, and then you're... Sorry, guys, not my show. It's our show. But they're going to turn you into a hoarder. So you two are just going to be, like, taking turns hoarding whatever's in stock <laughs> whenever y'all go. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, they have, like... Okay, so Trader Joe's, I found out they're one of my, one of my friends that Trader Joe's, like, actually will move stuff on purpose so you spend more time in the store. Um, so a lot of times, like, for instance, um, they have, like, these talkies, like, like basically they're healthy talkies Gross. And, yeah. oh my god <laughs> they're really good i promise you they were so good and i bought five bags on sunday because Holy i was like <laughs> and so i um is it for one day no <laughs> <laughs> i mean they're very addictive so i probably could finish a bag in a day but i'm sure my stomach would not have <laughs> Oh, it is for one day. You could be honest. <laughs> as long as it's not popcorn with extra butter, I think she's oh fine. My oh boy! No, like, I just, I just like, well, see, that it makes me nervous now because I'm like, well, I haven't been to the movies like in a while. Like, I mean, I have because you know, post COVID and stuff. Like, I think we've been to the movies like a couple times, but I haven't like really drenched my popcorn um, in butter. <laughs> And I don't know, like, see, when I first did that, I was, like, in my early 20s, right? Like, I was, like, 24, like, maybe even mid-20s, 25. And now I'm, like, okay, I'm 33 now. Like, do you think my stomach could still handle that? Like, I haven't tried it. So it's, like, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> because oh I don't know if I can handle it or my stomach can handle it as a, you know, 33-year-old. Um, you haven't tried it yet? No, I mean, not recently. No. Yeah. Well, like, I, I don't blame her. Well, no. I mean... <laughs> I Nobody mean, especially will. if you go with like the family, can you imagine? Just <laughs> oh my god, I think she can handle it. She's she's talking like thirty three is like oh my god, I'm thirty three, but you know I'm just actually seventy year old body here. My stomach can't <laughs> handle it. Like I I think you're fine. You can you can actually handle it. Now, if you're doing extra buttered popcorn with takis or that the healthy top which there's no version of takis that's healthy no. from what i understand no and i and the thing is i can't do like hot cheetos anymore like i cannot do hot cheetos like my stomach will not take it and i loved hot cheetos i mean i was like what is it like a i mean i wasn't a hood rat but like <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, just, I mean i was in high school but i mean um but oh I mean, jefferson come on i was i Grew up in that area. There's no such thing as hood rats in that area. Well, I mean, I'm, when I was there, it was like, what, 2004, 2008? So, I mean, it was kind of like... Okay, that is the hood rat era. Because yeah. I, I was in the Chola era, or whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah, and like, so like the whole thing, like when I was in high school, was like, dude, I'm so... Okay, I will say this. I'm so glad that I tr transitioned from private school to public school, because I don't know if I would have ever been introduced to Rico's cheese with hot Cheetos. Wait a minute. You you would have never been introduced to that in private I think school? So. I, they... was, I was in Catholic school. I was like, I don't know. Like I never, like no one really ate hot Cheetos like, in my, in my school. I went to, it's not a sin to eat hot Cheetos in Catholic school. Yeah, I was, I was say, yeah. <laughs> Especially with Rico. I mean, adding Rico's cheese. Okay. Was it that bougie? Maybe like, we'll go to hell for adding Rico's cheese, but I don't think anybody's yeah. getting to for a hot Cheetos. School is, yeah, I don't think private school is that bougie, man. No, you wow. can't have flaming Hot Cheetos. You got to have those healthy Takis. You can't have flaming Hot Cheetos here. From Trader Spe Joe's. Speaking From of Trader Joe's. Speaking of healthy. The one, the only, the legend himself has actually joined us here. That is Rocky, the legend, the the woman, whatever we want to call him, because he gets every woman he ever wants. He's the man, the myth, the legend, Rocky Garza. Rock, are you there? I see you're in the room, dude. Dude, hell yeah, dude. I just, you know, got home. I had a couple beers and a shot. Man, I'm chilling right now. Keep that, keep that same momentum because I was talking and, to Candace before the show about drinking, and I need y'all's help on some stuff. So I need oh, y'all to that. Yeah, but Rock, hey Rock. So Candace is, you know, hoarding all this, or she's not hoarding. She's going to hoard all this wine from Trader Joe's. You came in at the Takis, the vegetarian or whatever, whatever is a Taki. I don't know what the hell a Taki is. You came into that talk, man. 
for you, man, are you okay? How are you doing? Because Candace is pissed off about Trader Joe's. Stats is tired because he's working 15 jobs. Are you okay, man? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. I mean, I'm chilling, just working, you know, grinding and stuff. But uh, I'm actually really excited because I realized today the barbecue is next week, man. I was like, oh, my God, it's coming up so soon. So it's going to be a fun time. But I've been doing good, man. You know, just works work and uh, just been chilling. You know, I was at Doghouse right now uh, with my with my uh, two brothers. And we're just uh, watching the Michigan State game right now at Kansas State, which is a really good game. And uh, I just had a couple beers and just a shot with some wings and nothing too big, but it was a good time. There you go. That's the rock himself, man. He sounds a little buzz. So that's like that's good when rock sounds hey, buzz. No, nah, I'm actually not nowhere near buzz, honestly. I just I'm just really full because I ate a lot of food. Not even with a shot? Yeah, no, not even with a shot. No, I'm chilling. Man, you, did, you went in reverse order too, huh? Yeah, dude. Hey, that's peanut impressive. butter screwball shot, dude. Oh my god, they're my favorite. I, I Which shot them. was it? Screwball, peanut butter. Oh, the peanut butter shot. Yeah, that is pretty delicious. Dude, they're so good, Rudy. Yeah. It, it's dangerous, ne- man. It's illegal. Okay, so I've never heard of this shit. That's what I. Okay, so we're gonna just transition to it because I know it's just sweep the league. I know we talk sports and all that, but I'm I'm really curious of this. So, for three years, I started three years back. I started a health journey. Went to the doctor. The doctor's like, you know, hey, everything's bad about you. Your heart's bad. You've got diabetes. You know what? Here's a. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna gonna prescribe this to you. I'm gonna prescribe you this pill and this shovel. Go ahead and go dig yourself a grave. That's basically what the doctor's telling me. You know, go to dig yourself a grave. Take these pills and you'll. You know, you'll be good to go in about. You know, six months. You know, go up in heaven or whatever you're gonna do. So I was like, fuck that. He goes, I need to ask you, how much do you drink? I'm like, man, I drink probably like, I don't know, 10, 12 beers. He's like, ah, it's not too bad for a week. I'm like, no, it's like a night, man. A Friday night for me is like 10, 12 beers, maybe five, six shots. I mean, we get pretty hammered on Friday night. So he's like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, no, that's terrible. That's, you know, that's terrible for your liver and whatever, all this other shit. But I just started really started to drink again because I'm like, you know, hell, I've done pretty good. I'm still healthy. I've given up all this stuff. Well, I'm going to start drinking again. Picked up Dos Equis, started drinking that again. I moved over to Dos Equis, uh, Sal Limon or whatever that shit is. Then I went to uh, Seoul, where it has chilada, basically salt and lime all together. And that's actually really good. But I asked Candice, what other... I got introduced recently to a green tea shot and an orange tea shot. But what other... Besides the basic shit, what other stuff out there should I try? Because... Pickle shots. Pickle shots? Dude, yeah. pickle bats are so good. Oh my god. Oh yeah, pickle shot or pickle what? Pickle bat. Pickle bat? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, that's the name of the drink. Yeah, <laughs> that's the name of the shot. Okay, see, I don't know this shit. You kids are what's keeping me young. I don't know this shit. Like, Dude, green tea shots, man. Those things are so uh, good. Okay, so green tea shots, yeah. I there was a night I think we did like five or six of them, you know, yeah. and those are really really smooth. Now Shout out to Bandera Bowl where we go on Friday nights because I go at Bandera on Friday nights. They don't do shots. They give me the whole fucking glass. So <laughs> I'm like, that's a triple, maybe double, triple shot every single time. So shout out to Bandera Bowl for taking care of us out there. But what do, what else do you guys Now I don't want the tequila sunrise drinks or any of this other stuff. I, I want to know the, the drinks that are, you know, that I should try. Now you're talking about... Um, now you're talking about what? What do you say? Pickle, pickleback, and then Rock said something about it, it's not pickle, Rick. It's pickleback. Yeah. I said pickleback. I, didn't, what I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. I was like, wait a minute. And then Rocky, you said something about blue peanut butter or whatever. I don't know what the hell. Uh, I peanut butter shots. Uh, so screwball is the natural liquor, but peanut butter shots, uh, screwball, like it's really good. It's like a whiskey. It kind of has like that peanut butter flavor, but it has like a little spice at the end. And it's it's pretty solid, man. I'll tell you one thing. I've been had and. They've been force feeding me like fireball shots. Holy cow, that Dude, shit! You're sick in the mind. That's so disgusting. That is very disgusting. But I, I don't know. I kind of like I, it. I feel. I feel like if you like fireball, you're gonna like rumple, and rumple is the worst thing. No, ever. yeah, rumple. Uh, I've heard I of that. Like I feel like Candace no. likes rumple, and she's just what hiding. Exactly. I'm like, what is that? I'm kind of scared. But- Rumple basically tastes like Listerine. Rumple mints. Yeah, oh. it's not good. Yeah. Yeah, it's very gross. And I feel like if you're into mint, you'll like it, but it's so gross. Isn't that if what you're looking... is? Uh, 
think so. But I mean, Rumble Mints, like people like that, and it's, it's like very high alcohol, but it's so disgusting, and you, it gives you that minty flavor. Oh, it's just bad. It, it's just too much. And in the Rock, you touched on it. That's why people like it because it's it's a lot of ABV. <laughs> <laughs> that's hey, really the only I, reason. I got you though i just looked up um 15 of the most manly drinks and this is- <laughs> <laughs> i hope i'm a man God. <laughs> <laughs> this is according to home wet bar um so number one is gin and juice go snoop oh, dog snoop. little snoop, snoop there uh okay. number two, whiskey sour had him they're okay yeah um Number three, uh, Jaggerade. A what? Jaggerade. So it says, it says made of Gatorade energy drink and Jaggermeister herbal. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that sounds horrific. <laughs> my heart already <laughs> stopped. Oh my god. <laughs> right, I, I'm done. I'm done with Jaeger, man. I'm done with Jaegermeister. Yeah, Jaeger. I've had Jaeger, and that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. What What about this one's bloody bull? This is like a. Oh god, that I can already tell you when you said bloody bull, that's like first thing to hit my mind. And don't ask me why, but I, it's like did someone get kicked in the balls and your balls well, no, are bleeding? This is, this is that's a manly like... version of the Bloody Mary. All right, I like Bloody Marys. What's in there? So it says a tasty mixture of vodka, beef bouillon. Oh. And- be sure I made that Hispanic. Like, not even it's probably not even Hispanic, and I just totally made that Hispanic. Um, <laughs> Lemon, Tabasco sauce, and what is it? Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire yeah. sauce. Yes. Worcester. <laughs> I'm going to start using that one. Worcester sauce. <laughs> we need some Worcester sauce, mate. We need yeah. some Worcester sauce. I think we uh, we need to sign up for our part of town, San Antonio, and say, all we're going to do is try to pronounce Worcester sauce. I'd <laughs> say the first one that does it wins this Rudy, 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 we should all get plastered and then just try to pronounce various words, and that's a segment. I am so <laughs> down for that. I, you know, getting plastered is my thing. Continue the list, Candace, because I need to hear this, because... Yeah, so far, the only one I want to try, and I'm 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 really worried about it, is like that bloody ball one you said or whatever it was. That actually sounds good. Yeah, I mean I'm <laughs> I'm down for that. Did I say but bloody ball? It was bloody bull. Bloody bull. I'm off yeah. one letter. In your <laughs> I I thought you were gonna. I thought it was gonna be Red Bull infused with a bloody. Yeah, bloody. no, same. That's what I kind of thought, but I was kind of surprised that wasn't part of the recipe. Well, I'm glad it isn't. <laughs> so the next one is sidecar. Um, it says a classic cocktail served in a traditional glass. Um, it's made up of triple triple sec, cognac, and lemon juice. No sugar. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Yeah, that sounds like fifty dollars a drink or something. I, don't know. I wonder if an old fashioned's on this one because that's like one of the most manly drinks you can get. Oh yeah, uh, we'll find out. So the next <laughs> one is Gold Rush. <laughs> says gold rush is a man's summertime friend a shot made up of bourbon lemon juice and honey and will put mm. some hair on that bare chest of yours gold rush is so good i love that that sounds amazing really rock you've had them yeah dude i've had gold rush in austin oh my god it's so good so do you have hair on your chest <laughs> dude i do a little bit dude but uh, i had a lot of hair on my chest that I- night I don't yeah, remember. You made it longer, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember seeing hair on your chest when you got slapped by Thunder Rosa. Dude, I have a better beard than you. It's all right, man. I have more hair than you. Oh, yeah. she I slapped the hair. She slapped the hair off his chest. I can't grow a beard for Jack, man, at all. My my beard looks like okay, Uncle Rico. My beard looks patchy <laughs> like LeBron James's Uncle hair. No, continue the list. Snake bite is next. I've heard okay. of this one. What's it's in that again? Made up, okay, so made up of only two ingredients, Canadian whiskey and a dash of lime juice in a shot glass. Okay, I've had that before. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Never have. Yeah. Rock you? Nope. Probably not. I don't even know what that is. Dude, I, I will say this. I, before we, we continue, I got to say this. Dude, Cran Vodkas are bloody delicious. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Cran my vodkas. God. Dude. Yes. Oh my god, dude! With that the little slice of college. lime, man. I, that I just reminds some... me of college, dude. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, I had cranberry vodkas at my wedding, and like everyone was plastered. It was like awesome. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I had them during the Super Bowl, 
And oh my God, like to just keep them coming, bartender. That's it. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. And then they had like the slice of lime too. So you just squeeze the lime in there. And it's just perfect, man. Perfect for like hot weather. Jesus, I got a whole bunch of bottles next to me here. And I'm thinking, no, uh, it's not too late to just go to town on one of these. Continue, Candace. Continue. Next one up is The Godfather. It says, another well known gentleman's drink that can add bass to your tone. The Godfather has a name that alone fits as one of the top manly drinks. A sophisticated blend of bourbon or whiskey and an are uh, 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 I don't know how to say this word. Amerit Amaret. <laughs> uh, is it Amaretto? Amaretto, thank you, Mark. <laughs> Served in a classic whiskey glass. Makes this a classic choice choice for any real man who can have a real drink. Yeah. Hmm. That's very, very manly. I like that. Next okay, one. I'll try that one. Next one, Jack and Coke. Oh yeah, that's you don't like, even have to explain yeah, that. One. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like the starter kit for every man's like yeah career. That is the first kick in the balls when it comes to alcohol for guys. That is what every because when I turned twenty one, you know, and don't get all like oh you know we're twenty one. I wasn't like you guys when I was drinking at like fifteen, you know, at parties <laughs> and stuff. I actually didn't take my first drink till I was like twenty four. 25 yeah so i waited wow. a while yeah. i i saved myself when it came to drinking because i knew the moment that i had to when i wanted to drink something i i literally was going to start drinking and that's what happened the floodgates open first thing i got was a jack and coke took a sip nice. spit it out couldn't do it mm -hmm. <laughs> could not do it yeah. It's funny because like when I first started drinking, I I could not stand the taste of beer. I thought it tasted horrible, and I was like, "How do people drink this?" And all it really adds hmm? molars. Yeah, it, it's it's amazing how it really is like an acquired like you have to get used to it, and but once you're used to it, it's like, oh, okay, you can really appreciate the flavor of it. I guess so. Maybe the maybe because I drank at a casino, so there it's like. 99% alcohol, 1%, you know, Coke. So maybe that's yeah. what it was. It was just way too much. All right, what's the next on the list? Tom Collins. Mm. Who is that? What's in, what's in that one again? This sounds familiar. So Tom Collins is a perfect example of what a man's cocktail should taste like. Gin, lemon juice, club soda, and a hint of sugar on the rocks. Ooh. That sounds pretty effing amazing. It does. It's so different too from all the other drinks that we've we've heard on the list so far. So if I wanted a tougher drink, I would get a Zach Collins, <laughs> Tom Collins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And John Collins. Uh, John Collins is soft. <laughs> <laughs> He's softer than Tom. I'll take a Zach Collins. <laughs> Zach Collins. <laughs> the Chris Collins worth what? Oh no, God, that's that's like a sour drink. That's a very sour drink. We got that any more left good. on there? We do whiskey on water. Ooh. Wait a minute. Okay, I've heard this before, and I'm one to believe this. How in the ever living f are you going to water down a drink ever? I don't get that. I've heard you know. Oh, just give me this and water. This and water. This and water. I'm like, what is the point? But go ahead, whiskey water. Who else? What else we got? We got rusty nail. That sounds like a porn move. Yeah, I, 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 I don't I don't yeah. like the sound of that. What's in there? That sounds like a porn um, name. This one says the name alone will send chills down your spine or any of any coward that can handle drinks for real men. Fill your whiskey glass with scotch and orange or lemon peel on the rocks, and you've gotten your in you've gotten yourself one rusty nail. Kind of sounds like an old fashioned. Mm -hmm. That's not too far off. Okay, so the name is intimidating, but eh, drink not so much. Dirty Martini. James All Bond, right? right? Isn't that yep. like a James Bond drink? Yeah. Freaking not stood. Yep, exactly. They Actually, they use that quote in this um, paragraph to describe it. Nice. By the way, if y'all, uh, shout out to a Green Lantern bar, if y'all have ever heard of that place or been oh, there. Yeah. I know Greg Simmons has. They have a bar. <laughs> They have they have a fantastic cucumber martini if y'all are interested in that stuff. Really good. I don't like cucumbers, so sorry. 
It's it's mm. so refreshing, dude. You know who so has a good, good cucumber margarita? If you go to uh damn, I can't even think of the top of my head. But um it's a restaurant at the rim and they have a really good happy hour. Oh, you have to mention the restaurant, I can't even think of right now. Which one is it, Rock? Is it is it like a Mexican one or is it like it's not glorious, is it? No, but they have a really good cucumber margarita. Just is like, it Palenque Grill? No, it's at the rim. Let me look it up right now. But they have a happy hour and it's like four or five dollar margaritas and it's really good. And it just puts you on puts you on your bottom if you drink a lot of them. So yeah. Hmm. I don't I, I don't like this is the rim, so I'm kinda of curious what restaurant this is. Yeah, I'm trying to look right now. It's a Mexican is it, like, is it hidden in the back or something? No, it's near Bass Pro Shop. It's literally right across. It's not Lupe Tortilla? No, because Lupe Tortilla has big tortillas, and I like going that place. Because <laughs> <laughs> a big tortilla. Dude, those tortillas are good. Dude, it's are, hard to beat a good homemade I'm, tortilla. I'm, picky, I'm, I'm really picky at tortillas. That's just me. Really? Dude, is that yeah. on your dating profile? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was like, if you don't have good tortillas, homemade tortilla, then... we'll match. Yeah. Wow. You You're just a flower the... guy? You're a flower girl? Me too. <laughs> both. Oh, the best of both worlds. Yeah, dude. Ain't nothing but ain't nothing wrong about that. Mm. No, I, I went to a, uh, I went to a Mexican restaurant a few weeks ago, and uh, they they were asking us what kind of tortillas we wanted, and they said they were telling us, "Oh, just a heads up, the the corn we get in from the store." <laughs> <laughs> no, like I I don't know if you ever asked that. Like when you go to Mexican restaurants, like so, my dad had this friend that would always ask, like. It would, he would go to, um, I don't know if any you've all heard of this restaurant. It was called um, El Potosí, and it was, like, off of Bandera. And apparently, like, he would always ask, like, excuse me, like, are your tortillas fresh? And, like, he would, like, I mean, without, like, hesitation, just ask them. And they would kind of, like, be, like, you know, thrown off a little bit. But they would be, like, no, like, they're not. Or, you know, they're they're the, they're the bucket there, whatever. Um, but, Fresh yeah. frozen? Yep. The really? restaurant... The restaurant I found out is Tiago's Cabo Grill. Tiago's. Ah, uh-huh. I've eaten there. Yeah, good yeah, this. Dude, the happy hour is from two to six, and their gold margaritas are five bucks. Dude, you know who had a really good happy hour that I'm like bummed that they don't have it anymore? Kona. Kona oh, Grill. Dude, yeah. trust me. Yes, that was my. That was when I was poor in college. I would go to Kona every time. I was so good because like all day Sunday and like you would get like the sliders for like five bucks and like a margarita for five bucks, like ten dollars, and like done. Dude, so, Rudy, Rudy, just to give you perspective, back in the day, they would not limit your sake bombs. So I would get probably three sake bomb sets and just be plastered <laughs> and only spend $15. But now you can only limit <laughs> like one, I think, per person. Really? Yeah. I've never had a sake bomb. I never oh. have, but I want to have one. I've never it's had so it. Good. You got you to gotta do like the fists on the table and everything. You got to go through the whole like ritual of it. Wait a minute. What are we talking about? I don't have to get in like dressed up in a diaper like a sumo or anything, right? No, no. Have you ever have you ever seen how like they initiate I don't know. The sake bomb? Like I've they, never they, had they one in my life. Their... So you, you set up like the shot of sake over the beer on two chopsticks, and you slam on the table. You bang on the table to make the shot fall into the glass of beer, and then you start chugging. Hmm. Wow, I didn't know that. I don't know that. And that's what I'm saying. Like sake bomb, I hear about it all the time. I'd love to try one, but then y'all are saying there's some ritual and all this stuff. So I don't know if I have to. I mean, throw... you you could just drop it in yourself with your hand, but it's yeah. more okay. fun with the whole show and everything. Oh no, and that's what I'm saying. I thought you know I'd have to look rock in the eye and throw salt in his face or something. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's what I had to do Dude, doing a sake bomb. We're, we're gonna take sake bombs and we're gonna take Irish car bombs. So okay, so oh, oh Irish my Irish god, oh Irish my god, car bombs. Jeez. PTSD. <laughs> I love Irish oh, Carbo. Patty's right. Day, dude. Patty's so, Day uh, memory. Every day. It's, it's not uh, just at Patty's Day, it's an everyday thing. Oh my uh, gosh. Wow. Okay. Well, I've never had uh that before, so I'm gonna have to add that to the list. I doubt Bandera Bowl can make an Irish car bomb. <laughs> uh <laughs> but you if might they get a few looks too if you order. <laughs> what is it? Okay, so what is it? I don't even know what it is. What is it's, it like, Jaeger? Isn't it Jaeger? It's, it's Guinness and mate and not majors. Isn't Mother's. it Jameson whiskey? Yeah, it's Jameson whiskey and and, uh, and Guinness. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes they mix it up and they put peanut butter uh, whiskey. 
which is very I've good. Never had a peanut butter whiskey in an Irish oh, Carvel. So I'm sure that's amazing in a Guinness, though. Yeah, and I had him on St. Patty's Day last Friday, and let's just say I had a very good time to the point where I met a where I met a lady, and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a very good time. Wait, did you get digits? Like, you kind of like just leave us on that cliffhanger. I like, did get digits, and we danced, and uh, you said a lady. Like, what? Like, was she like a mom? Or was no, I met, I met this. It was okay. I'll give the lowdown. Um, so basically, you know, went out for St. Patty's Day at Hills and Dills, very ratchet over there, but, um, <laughs> stayed there the whole night. And then, uh, I was just having the time of my life dancing, you know, with my friends. And then there was a girl that was a friend of a friend and I saw her and I was like, nah, I don't want to go talk to her. You know, I'm just enjoying myself. I don't really go up to girls and this and that. Cause I'm just, you know, that's not my goal. I want to enjoy myself. Uh, I yeah, saw one yeah. of my, one of my homies I had just met, he went up to her. She curved them, and I was like, "Damn!" I was like, "That's curvy." What, what is this terminology? Yeah, curved? you gotta you gotta bring us up to par, dude. Yeah, we she don't rejected know him. There you go. That's slang. She rejected him. Like he tried, like you know, dancing with her and like grinding on her, and he was. She was like not feeling it. She was like, "No." And so like, she like, walked off, and I was like, "Damn, that's tough luck." I'm just over here, you know, cumbia over here dancing, and someone Selena? grabs me. Yes. Oh my God! Don't bring yeah, that. Someone grabs me. I'm like, someone's <laughs> grabbing me. You know, I thought it was one of my friends who's a girl. Like, she's like, you know, like we're real good friends. It's that girl, and I'm like, okay, cool, like whatever. And the next thing you know, like we're just talking, and she's like, yeah, I didn't really like that guy over there. She's like, I thought you were cute, and I was like, oh, okay. I was like, that's cool. And then like we're just talking the whole night. So yeah, and I got her number. Nice. There you go. Yeah. So speaking of Selena, Rock, you. That you haven't heard, but Candace apparently sings exactly like Selena. <laughs> well, and I had to like, you know, read her to the group. I was like, I don't do like, well, because I was trying to think of the word, right? And I was like, impersonator, but she couldn't figure out what it was. Impersonator is what it was. Yeah. But apparently, Candace, apparently, Candace won an Our Part of Town contest singing Selena, is what she's telling us here. No, absolutely not. I, no. I was. No, I mean, it was, it was more karaoke. And I was like, you know, in karaoke, I just really don't care at that point. Because it's like, okay, the way I see it is like, I'm never going to see these people again. Um, unless like they record me and like I go viral. But um, if that doesn't happen, you know, I'm never going to see these people again. So it's like, you know, why not? So I love singing Selena just because like, I mean, obviously San Antonio. And like everybody gets super hyped about it. And so, you know, it, we kind of went on this tangent where it's like, we talk about this and then we talked about, you know, our part of town where it's like everyone always thought they were the next Selena and they are part of town talent show. And yeah. <laughs> Dude, did y'all? Okay, so obviously Candace watched the Our Part of Town shows. Brock, did you ever watch them? <laughs> Do you even know what we're talking about or you're too young? Watch the what? It's called Our Part of, our part of Town on public access. <laughs> Never heard of that in my life. Okay, I figured you would because oh, you're yeah, like 15. Wow. You're missing out. You're missing out. When did that come this was 90s was it 2000s uh, you know i was born in 96 i don't remember happening. no no i know that i know i know you're 14 right now so i mean i know you're not oh, gonna... it was 10 years ago so i mean well no that's they were I... still doing it 10 years ago well i i mean this video was from 10 years ago so maybe just someone uploaded it i think maybe up it looks it. old though it looks yeah dead. that looks like freaking vhs days like <laughs> that goes way like, back let me look it up. i'll look it up when our part of town stopped yeah because that's that's i knew it was 90s is when it started i believe for sure man that last video you showed us looked like it was still from like way back then they were singing so cool in the gang. gang i mean what the hell that's like <laughs> <laughs> that's like hey, 80s you, could, cool, and 90s. you could say cool in the gang like anytime man like that's cool in the gang is just is just awesome like no that. apparently no apparently it was because the last post it says our part of town our part of town auditions to begin august 10th and this was back on july 15th 2011 oh my god <laughs> really Oh my God! So it's been it's look at how old, y'all. Look how old this is. Okay, so the the whole description at this post on is on their um, Facebook page. It says, "Our it says San Antonio's most viewed televised talent show, our part of town is going high tech. Those interested in auditioning now have several options, including submitting a CD or DVD." <laughs> wow. <laughs> Or emailing a YouTube link and an MP3 file to the San Antonio Parks oh my Creation gosh. Department. Like, 
this is okay but again for perspective for our listeners this is 2011 so in 2011 having a dvd mp3 file and a cd were very high tech so i was 14 years old oh my god yeah (laughs) it is might as well throw in the carrier pigeon while you're at it i mean no that's back when i was young was carrier pigeon i i so i came up in the See, when I was a kid, when I was born, my dad had a CB radio in his truck, which to this day, I still don't understand why people had CB radios in their truck, you know, trying to like be smoky in the bandit and shit, calling all these truckers, which I never could get a hold of anybody. And then, and there was the phasing out of the eight track stuff. So mm-hmm. my dad had an eight track player in his truck and all that other stuff. Then with the cassettes came and all that stuff, and of course CDs and all that. But our part of town, I, I'm gonna ask the group here. Now, Rock, you probably don't know. Obviously, you don't know it because you were like four when all this shit happened. Is this the first? Is this the original TikTok? Would you think so? I would. I would think so. I mean, even though I don't know it, it seems like it. Okay, I just looked it up right now, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, it's a ta- so talent shows are the original TikToks. I'm assuming. Did y'all ever do talent shows at your school? Unfortunately, no, but I yes. To. I just didn't have like the guts to do it. Really? Yeah, I just I was very like sheltered and shy. Um, not nothing to what I'm compared to now. Like I'm like, you know, an extrovert now. But when I was younger, I was very shy. You and I have that in common. I was pretty shy when I was young, um, but. I did a talent show at elementary and I did a, <laughs> I'll never forget. I did a fucking puppet play. I had two puppets and I, my <laughs> uncle built me this huge, I don't know, phone booth looking box that was all covered and it had the hole in the top and you would just see the puppets there, you know, my hands and the puppet thing talking, yada, yada. And I remember it was like stupid hide and seek type story. And I was like, okay, that was the first, the last time I ever did a talent show. I tried doing karaoke one time, but it's kind of bad when you're so plastered that you mumble the entire song. So I never did karaoke after that again. I guess I should try it. But nobody else has done talent show. I know Candace said you did it, but you've done karaoke. You've yeah. sung, you sang uh, Selena where people are now throwing rose petals at your foot after that. <laughs> stats well, rock the job when i was little so like when i was like you know four or five or whatever and like i would get like you know for some reason i don't know why like we thought it was cool to do like our own talent show for our parents and like i remember Dude, like- yes oh my god <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> like oh my why god. did we do this like i think about it now i'm like why did i think this was so cool <laughs> We had we did those stupid little like family talent shows at like gatherings and stuff too. Oh really? my god, that's crazy! Yeah, we oh did that god. stuff. We had like routines. We practiced in everything. We had like <laughs> dance routines. It was crazy. Wow, I've never done that. I mean, okay, so me and my cousins did a dance in front of the family one time. That's like the most I've ever done. Which I can't dance at all. Ro- Rocky, have you done anything like that? Dude, I I dance at Arneson Theater. What? Yeah, I was part of a hip hop group when I was about twelve, and we did a whole. Oh, we did a whole rock. Um, <laughs> artisan theater, dude. I was like break dancing and everything. What song? I gotta know the um, song. Uh, what was it? Um, it was Push It. Salt and Pepper, <laughs> Salt and Pepper Push It, dude. I mean, for real, yeah. We did a we did a whole performance. I remember it clearly, and then we performed at the Spurs game. Uh, like joined like the. Was it, yeah, it was halftime. Because I remember that's when I first saw Tony Parker. And I was like, dude, this guy's tall. And then I tried saying hi to him, and he just ignored me. And I was like, damn, this guy's a dick. Oh, Tony Parker? Is that what you said? Tony Parker's a dick? Yeah, yeah, Tony Parker. And, like, yeah. So I performed Arneson Theater and at the Spurs halftime. And then I quit the dance group after, like, a month later. Wow. So, I, you know, I've had an incident with Tim Duncan. But nothing really bad. I mean, I kind of, he was at actually Country Lanes, one of the places that we're going to talk about later. Uh, Country Lanes was there. He was there. And I remember asking for 
an autograph and he was like i'm not signing now well another another like lady walked up to him and oh hi tim yeah yeah can i have your autograph and he signed her oh yeah no problem sign for her so i go back up to him and go are you signing now and he looks at me like you little fucking kid yeah here so i got an autograph from tim even though it kind of got the look of you're going to hell since <laughs> i probably am um but i never i knew parker was kind of bad i mean you've heard about the whole brent berry thing so i mean he's got a kind of a I guess a history of stuff. Anybody else have any issues with any Spurs players that we don't know about? Not really, not really an issue, but uh Danny Green was in my theater when I saw that uh uh that movie This is the End. You remember that movie? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, was, Danny Green was randomly movie. in our showing, like our did, screening. Did you give him a high five or anything? No, he tried to escape through the back, but my friend caught up with him. And basically told him, no, nah, I'm not doing like autographs or anything. Because he he was with the girl and they were just like, you could tell they were trying to get out of there ASAP without being seen. Candace, yeah. you're, you're like the celebrity of the group. So, I mean, I'm sure you've met a lot of these people. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really, I mean, I haven't had a bad experience. Um, but most of the time it's because like I'm doing interviews and stuff like that. But yeah, I, uh, I'm reading the chat and I'm like, oh god, I would so love to see hear that. But dude, I have a I have, dude, Danny Green. My brother went to go get like uh, Lock and Terror, like when they do the signings and stuff. My brother asked him like, hey, can you like just put like two like my dad like from Danny Green? And he was like, no. And I was like, dude, like what? And then like the girl behind him was like, oh, can you put it to my mom? He's like, yeah, I got you. I don't know what it is. Like we can't. <sighs> We can't, like, obviously, you know, I'm like, same thing with Timmy. Like, oh, I'm not signing right now. No problem. <laughs> I'm not going to. Yeah, we all read that. Um, it's like, okay, yeah. So I'm like, okay, you know, you're not signing. Cool. I respect that. You're with your family. You know, you're chilling, whatever. But don't go out of your way and sign somebody else's shit. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. You just told me you're not signing, but you're signing this person's. Like, come on, man. Like, I don't know what it is. This is Sweep the League. We are uh, we're reliving a lot of San Antonio stuff here because, um, you know, we're doing some San Antonio folklore. I just we got to talk a little sports before we get into uh, a couple of things before the end of the show here. Uh, real quick, shout out to Machismo Libre. Shout out to Special Leaf, our great sponsors. They'll be at the barbecue on April 1st. I'm like, Taylor Cook off. We're going to be giving away tickets next week. I'm going to give away a couple of tickets to go get a plate. Uh, from the Mike Taylor Barbecue Cookoff, I'm going to pick up the tickets tomorrow, so we'll be giving them out this uh, coming week. The thing that I want to give into real quick, just give me a grade. Um, if you've been following it, great. If you have it, no worries. Houston Texans have been signing a lot of people. Right, just give me a grade on their offseason so far. Dallas Cowboys, give me a grade on their offseason. I'll go first. I'm going to make it super simple. Texans have an A-plus grade, in my opinion. They've signed some tremendous talent. They've got some tremendous help. That Texans team is looking good overnight. Dallas, um, I'm going to give them I'm going to give them a B right now. They've made some good signings. They've been traded for Brandon Cooks. Uh, but right now, I still think they've got a lot of questions to be answered. So I'm going to give them a B right now. Just go around the horn real quick. Uh, we'll start with Rock on this one. Rock, just give me the grades for the Cowboys and the Texans so we can move on to San Antonio history. Oh, yeah. So I'll give the Texans uh, a solid A minus. I mean, they make been making some great signings. And one of my good friends, who's also my barber, uh, he's a diehard Texans fan. And we we're talking about the signings that they had. And I was like, you know, messing with him. I was like, damn, y'all really stole Dalton Schultz. And he's like, yeah, and it's a good signing. But whoever, you know, give or take that, they are going to take a quarterback. They'll have, you know, at least a, a security blanket down there. So that'd be good. But Dallas wise, I'll give a solid B plus. They do have some stuff to still fill in, you know, defensive line specifically. I do like that Ronald jo Jones signing. Uh, it's good death. That I think that's gonna, you know, be really good for them. But I love the Brandon Cook trade. Um, did I want DeAndre Hopkins? Yeah, but he does get hurt a lot. Um, do I hope they still draft, you know, a running back? Yeah, obviously. I mean, you're gonna be going to let Tony Pollard just be coming off an injury. Um, Rico Dottawa, who's going to be the third string, and then Malik Davis is arguably the second string. But if you draft a rookie, you may make that second uh, second uh, string. Who knows? Maybe they go Bijan. I don't know. But, I mean, they're offensive-wise. They're looking good right now, but they still need to make some moves on defense. I'm tired of freaking the Bijan talk. I, I love Bijan Robinson. I think he's probably going to be one of the best backs in the NFL. 
uh, for sure, no doubt wherever he goes. But I, I I see a lot of Cowboy Twitter fandom and, you know, social media Twitter, I mean, social media fandom for the Cowboys. And they're all, everybody's talking high on Bijan. Bijan this, Bijan this. Bijan should go in the top 10. He should go in top 15. I get it. He's a special running back. But there's no team out there in the top 20 that really needs a running back. At that, I mean, they so they do. But when I say doesn't need a running back, they have bigger holes to fill. There's a lot bigger voids to fill. And this is where that draft helps them. So I think Bijan will go in the first round. I think it's going to be late first round. I'm, I still have him going to Buffalo of all places, um, especially since they lost Devin Singletary. So I really think that Buffalo is that spot for Bijan. Um but I just can't see the whole hype behind Bijan stats. Uh, you got a grade for Texans and the Cowboys? Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought I thought the Cowboys have been doing really well. Um, I think the Stephon Gilmore was a huge pickup for them. Um, of course, Brandon Cooks was a big one too. He really needed that other like elite receiver across from CDs. So, um, in my opinion, it's the pressure is going to be on like. McCarthy and Dak next season, man. And I know they got some holes to fill, but the spotlight's going to be even more on those two uh, next season, and they need to show up, both of them. Yeah, they do. It's going to be a big year for the Cowboys. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a fun. It's going to be a fun draft. I think we're going to see a lot of uh, teams get everything squared away on this draft. All right. I, I got to go. And so we talked, man, we talked about alcohol, which y'all are giving me some good ideas here. I'm going to need y'all to text me all these drinks because going into tomorrow night, uh, my week's been shit at work. So I'm definitely going to be drinking a whole lot. I'm going to mix drinks. I'm going to do Candice's, uh bloody ball or whatever it was. And then uh, rocks, peanut butter and jelly blue star i don't know what the hell it was y'all y'all just text me in the group and i'll try whatever i need to try tomorrow I need a list of wines from trader joe's i can't do wine i don't like wine yes. i i i'm i i guess i'm one of those people that don't like wine i i've tried wines at olive garden i've tried wines at you know even like the bubbly like the sparkling type of wines uh no to me wine is just it's i you know what <laughs> I guess I have to go with somebody like you that knows the wines because the one wine that I did like was it wasn't strong. It was pretty sweet, but you really couldn't taste too much of the alcohol. And whatever reason, wine for me is just bad tasting because of the alcohol. Yeah. And I don't know why. I just it just doesn't work well. I mean, so I need someone that can actually say this one. You can't taste the alcohol, but it's in there. Yeah. I guess if that makes any sense at all. So I'm going through Candace's. So Candace, back in 2022, which is a long ass time ago, in July decided I'm going to write a thing about San Antonio. She threw up an article. Places that you'll never see again in San Antonio if you grew up in the 80s and 90s. So Rock, you were you were still a sparkle in your pop's eyes when this came out, or when all these places were here, basically. So you may actually know a couple of them because you know number one on the list on Candace's list is Parapple County Fair Rock. I know you know about that place. I hope you know about that place. If not, what was it again? Sorry, Parapple County Fair. Dude, I don't know what that is. You don't know what Pear Apple County Fair is? No, get out, never... Rock. Just get out. No, I mean, for real, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, Pear Apple County Fair was the flea market version of like Disney World for us <laughs> here in San Antonio. It had like all the rides. Now, it was a bigger version of another place that's no longer in existence, and that's Jungle Gyms. But we're going to Jungle Gyms in a minute. Pear Apple County Fair was our our Bulga Disney World or Disneyland. Like it had everything there, all the rides, everything. Big old damn Ferris wheel and everything. Candace, bring yeah. bring people up to the to the present here of Parapple County Fair. Yeah, so isn't it like a church now? It, it's a it church is, now. It is a church now, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, it, it was like the place, like, you know, it was kind of like what the Six Flags before, like Six Flags basically. Um, and it was like... Yeah where people hung out like i remember my cousins um, i think i only went there one time i vaguely remember like maybe i, I dreamt it as a kid but like i don't know if it was, was there was like an area where there was like water 
Was it like a water area or mm, something? Or am I, I can't re- No, I can't remember. If anybody's listening to this, if you can let me know if it was a water area pair of kind of I can't remember yeah, like, offhand. What were, yeah, to our listeners, what was like this the areas you you remember the most about Parapal County Fair? Besides like the Ferris wheel, like the monumental ones, like what are your fondest memories of Parapal County Fair? Because uh, that was like a huge thing in San Antonio. And it's a then. church. It's a right. It's a church now. So now you can, you know, praise Jesus while being on the merry-go-round at Parapa County Fair. So that's actually kind of cool. But yeah, anybody out there, let us know, man, for sure. KB Toys. Rock. KB Toys? Yes? No? Maybe so? You got it. I know that is. I know that is. I remember that because uh, my, my mom would take me. So I, I, I at least remember that. KB I used toys. to go to the one. Yeah, I used to go to the one. I think there was one in Ingram, right? Yes. Ingram, North yes. Star. Yeah, I used to go to that one all the time. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak you guys out. The one I used to go to all the time was at Central Park Mall. Oh, Central Park with the carousel. Yeah, Central and Park Jailhouse had the carousel. Rock. Dude, Jailhouse Rock Cafe. That what? Jailhouse Rock Cafe, or no, I'm, I'm totally making that up. I feel no, like there, yeah, there was. It was a. Uh, was it Jailhouse Cafe? No. Okay, it wasn't Joe House Rock Cafe. You're, you're <laughs> talking about Elvis. I just the Elvis movie. So just... <laughs> I don't think Elvis performed and actually he opened up a restaurant in San Antonio. I think it was the Joe House Cafe. Is what yeah, it was. Joe House Cafe. <laughs> and that was the one over there by the Bear County or the San Antonio prison, like the one on Commerce, I think. There wasn't one in Central Park Mall. I thought I sw- I could have sworn it was like in the corner, and it was like the... there might have been. There actually yeah. might have been. Yeah. Central Park Mall had like four stores. Petland and freaking. Yes, they had Petland. So Central Park Mall had Sears, Petland, and then Lane Bryant was right next to KB Toys. Oh, I miss Petland. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken. I always want a bunny. And my dad would be like, oh, yeah, we'll get it for you like for Easter. And then the Easter came and he's like, oh, yeah, we'll get it for you for Christmas. Christmas came and like, here I am like 33 years later. And I still, but I still, I still never got a bunny. So. Well, you how can come change you that. can't? Yeah, you can go get one now. You can get a bunny now. No, unless you need, you. unless you need parent permission, then we can't help you there. <laughs> go get a bunny. I my friend has a bunny, and as much as I just you know look at it like, what's the point of having a bunny? It's actually pretty pretty cute, I guess. Panchitos, no ponchos, ponchos. Raise the flag, Mexican buffet. Now that's still around. It still is around. I see. It's not. I don't I know if it's around. I think it's gone, dude. No, no. Okay, so it's not around in San Antonio. Oh God. Gotcha. But they do have a poncho. I don't remember if it's in the valley, but someone did post recently on social media that they were able to raise the flag again at ponchos. I got to find out where it is. Rock again, ponchos. Ever remember it? You've been there. Been in ponchos. You have. All right. All right, Rock. We've got one for Rocky here. Ponchos, raise the flag. Now, back in my fat boy days, I would raise the flag so much that they would have to fix the little rope thing. It would be just gone, basically, because the flag was going up and down, up and down. Dude, no. And then on your birthday, you get a freaking, like, little piñata. Yep. Yes, you did. Oh, my God. Jungle Jim's Playland Canvas. Rock knows nothing about Jungle Gems. I know that for a fact. Stats. Do you know anything about Jungle Gems? I used to go to Jungle Gems. You did? Good stuff. Yeah. The the fondest memory I have of Jungle Gems was the backwards roller coaster. Oh, yeah. It would just go in a circle. It would go normal, then it would <laughs> stop. And you, as a kid, for the first time, you're like, when the f is going on, and it just starts going backwards really fast, and I'm like, "Wow, this is crazy." Outside of that, I don't remember jack about jungle gyms. I can't remember too much about it. Well, it was next to country lanes. It was next to country lanes. I do remember that. But what else did they have in there? I don't know. I just remember that roller coaster. That exactly. That's the only thing people can remember about jungle gyms is that damn roller coaster. They had bumper cars. I know that. Oh, yeah, that too. That's right. Yeah, they did have bumper cars. They yeah. did. All right, I'm going to throw, we're going to talk shopping places because Montgomery Wards made Candace's list. Now, oh. Rock does not know Montgomery Wards. I know that for a fact. Stats, I don't know if you remember Montgomery Wards. I do not. Okay, so this is Montgomery Wards is one of those department stores where when you turned 18, you wanted that credit card. Montgomery Wards is one of the first places you could go get a credit card at like 18. 
And I remember I applied for it and they were like, oh yeah, you've got a credit card. You know, you've got a $2,000 or $3,000 credit limit. I'm like, holy fuck. You know, I don't even make, you know, I'm making like $4 an hour here. How the fuck am I going to afford half this shit? But Montgomery Wards was like, what would you say, Candace? Like Sears? Yeah, I mean, it was had, like one of the upscale Sears, I guess. They had everything. They yeah. had toys. They had, I mean, literally everything was at Montgomery Wards. It was badass. It was definitely a, could you, okay, so comparable to cons, would you say? Well, also like Mervyn's, like Mervyn's and- Oh shit, uh, Mervyn's. <laughs> I'm bringing it right, way back. Oh, God. Um, Mervyn's and, um, do you remember, what was that other store? It was um, Terrace Merchandise. Holy shit. <laughs> that was service merchandise. Now, Rock and Stats are probably just clicking. And they're just going to bet, you know, we're going to end this call because we don't know nothing about these places. But service merchandise wasn't. Okay, so Circuit City was another one. Yeah, Circuit City before. Because that Best Buy took over Circuit City. Yeah, Circuit City was the Circuit Best City. Buy. You do? Okay, so that was know, the Best Buy. I know Circuit City. I know Kmart. I know Albertsons. Mm-hmm. So oh my god, yeah. Albertsons! Jeez. Yeah, Albertsons was another. Handy Andy was the big local one. Yep. We EGB kicked him out though. Now, yeah. who did Rock say? Kmart. Kmart is still big yeah. up north. Kmart, man. Dude, Kmart I used to shop there as a kid. Remember when that was like where the old or where the Grand Central Station took over? Like that was like the one on Fredericksburg and 410. That was a Kmart. Holy shit! Yeah. That was a Kmart. Hmm. Oh my god, that was that was like the only place you could go at the time and put stuff on layaway like all the time. Dude, my dad every Easter would buy me a like um Easter basket on Easter because they were 50% off at that Kmart. Really? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm okay, so places that I used to go to and I remember, and again, this is gonna age me so bad here. But there was a place called Joskies. That was a oh, yeah. clothing, clothing department. Uh, Foley's. You remember Foley's? My yeah. mom used to shop at Foley's. I remember Foley's. You was do? Like Wieners? Was it Wieners another one? Wieners was another one. Uh, okay, Solo so Solo Serve was another. Why would anyone name a store that? <laughs> wait, oh. wait a minute. What? Solo Serve. Okay, so no, 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 no. Not oh, that Wieners? one. The other one. Wieners? <laughs> You've never heard of Wieners? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> is it an apostrophe I, s or is it like wieners like plural uh you know we're gonna have to look that one up but i don't look it up for y'all i think it was i think it, it was just straight it it up. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong don't get it don't get it miss you know miss no uh, no it's uh, i mean i know i know but it's it's just like that the title is just jarring when you first hear it like you didn't walk in and see like a hundred thousand different packs of oscar myers or anything i mean nothing <laughs> like, like oh that. no i'm just i'm just uh taking a trip to wieners going to yeah. wieners. <laughs> i'm like oh yeah i'm, I'm gonna go buy something yeah, it, was apostrophe S. it was okay so Okay, so apostrophe S, does that make a huge difference, that? No. No, I mean, it's still wieners the way you look at it. But now looking back at it, it's like casually mom and dad, we're going to wieners. Oh, yeah, okay. I never thought back in the day, now that I'm thinking not you brought it up, like wieners. Okay, that's so really a weird goes. fucking name. Okay, fun fact on wieners. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean the store, y'all. The store. No, yeah. We, we, no. <laughs> oh my we're, god. We're talking about the store. Ask me about my wiener. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It says so. Apparently, what led them to kind of go bankrupt was the fact that they were competing against like Walmart and Target. So that's what kind of led them to go under. It, it's it's their name, man. It's, <laughs> it's the name. Like, think of it this way: Would you feel more comfortable going to a place called Walmart? Or a place called Wieners. I beg, I'd get better service at Wieners. That's for damn sure. Definitely Wieners, dude. Definitely Wieners. <laughs> I mean, how do you how do you not like Wieners? Everybody likes Wieners, especially those dude. that shop there. <laughs> dude, Wieners sounds lit. I would shop at Wieners every day. Like, hey, let's all jump in the car and go to Wieners. Like that. That would be. That's the shit right in there. The now, Wienermobile. The Wienermobile. Wow. Weird. You know, oh, that's a throwback. Dude, they play a mascot with a little wiener and everything. I would just be taking pictures with that, you know, make little puns with wieners. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot about wieners. I'm gonna have to call. I'm gonna have to text Jeff Garcia in a minute because he was always talking to me about the stories that we were talking about lately, and I forgot about wieners. But 
You guys don't remember this. I know you don't remember this. There was a store called Wins. Yeah. Well, I remember, I remember my, par- my parents and my brother talking about it. But yeah. Real, okay. So I'm going to give you a basic breakdown of Wins. Wins was a very small store, maybe like six aisles tall. But everything you see in Walmart, literally everything you see in Walmart was in a Wins in six aisles. You could walk to the back. They'd have fish tanks with fish in there. You could get fish. You could get dog food, any pet thing. They had a toy section. If you needed outdoor furniture, folding chairs, they had it on this side. Anything and everything Walmart has was crammed into a winds. It was like the hoarder's version of a department store. And I used to love that freaking place, like, so much. It was... I don't know. That's another story that I really like. I can't remember really offhand anywhere else. Any of you guys know of any other places? I mean, that's you got to give us a shout out. But if we're going to foodies now, because we got to end the show here pretty quick. Um, pizza Inn. I've gotten so much shit over Pizza Inn. People say Pizza Inn never existed. I'm like, yes, it has. <laughs> it 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 was literally the guy with the uh, the. Uh, what is it? The hat, right? And the mustache. It was the logo or something. It was. Yeah. I guess he was. It was almost like the Little Caesars logo, if I remember correctly. Except this one, you know, didn't have a leaf covering his junk. He had actually just, you know, clothes on and looked like Mario from Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, instead of pizza, when I used to go to Fazoli's a lot, my mom worked there. I don't know if you those still exist. Yeah, they do. The Fazoli's. <laughs> my mom used to work there, and like I, every day, pretty much my childhood, I ate pizza and breadsticks, and so that's why I get really picky with pizza because I got fed that every day. Bro, their breadsticks are the best. They are the best. All, and- Olive Garden. Everyone talks about Olive Garden's breadsticks. Fazoli's breadsticks is king of breadsticks. <laughs> yes, they Seriously. have one in San Marcos, I think, and, and in Austin. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. If you don't uh, mind, if you don't mind quick diarrhea, it's worth it. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Oh my God. I well, anything I eat now is probably quick diarrhea. That's not on my. Dude, on my rallies list. rise. Have you like rallies? Wow. Ra- okay. I when I lived in Ohio for two years, they had a rallies up there, and I this is back in twenty. I've been married what fourteen years, like 2010, 29, 2009. My wife and I were up there, and I randomly was just looking at restaurants up there, and it said rallies burgers i'm like no freaking way we took the 30 minute drive to see and sure enough it was a rallies candace they had the same damn fries the seasoned fries oh my god if there was ever a if there was ever a restaurant that i would say you know what f the diet i've lost 250 plus pounds i'm gonna gain 250 plus pounds it's rallies rallies fries are the shit like my god they are the awesome. I, I, rock i know you haven't had rallies because they closed like in what 90s yeah yeah they closed yeah, like I, 90s. I, think I don't H- even know what, i don't even know what that is <laughs> i think hb actually sells the fries like you Wait, can, aren't, aren't they called checkers isn't it called yeah checkers yeah, yeah. So it's kind of, they're part of like the same company but yeah yeah they, yeah but I, checkers I, didn't I have, have it. yeah well i've actually like purchased like checkers like frozen fries Mm-hmm. Dude, those are pretty good. Yeah, they are pretty good. So, okay, so I'm looking at the article, and yeah, Checkers, I guess, is part of rallies, but there was something about the rallies, and the one I used to go to was on Bandera, right there, Bandera Road in St. Cloud or whatever. Yes, that's just... that was my hood. Yeah, well, so right there with the original Henry's Puffy Taco is, because yes. I live down the street from there. Um, yeah, that, that rallies would take my paycheck every freaking time Mm -hmm. and not only were they so awesome i was like you know what give me that double meat give me that large fry (laughs) give me that they they had the nuggets too that they're not the mcdonald's nuggets they're not the nuggets you get at you know they're they're like specially made for rally nuggets they were the crispy ones that were like fuck i'm getting fat just thinking about it but (laughs) not only that you could easily get a dessert bro yeah, I I would leave there with a fucking choco taco every time. 
Dude, oh that corner is so underrated. Like you got freaking rallies, you got La Fiesta, you got Henry's Pavitaco, you had was it Pistol Pete's and then it turned to Beach Pipers and yes. you had like that corner was like legit right off of like Bandera St. Cloud area. And that was a fat boy. man's Burger dream. Boy was like down the street. Remember Burger, the- okay, Burger Boy was down the street. Now that that part of Bandera. And this is going way back. Like I said, Stats and Rocky are probably rolling their eyes and like, what the fuck's going on here? That part of Bandera was Burger Central. You had Rallies, you had Burger Boy, you had Murph's Burgers, which is only one in existence right now. And that's right behind my house, literally. <laughs> Murph's um, is really good. Murph's I've is never had Murph's. so. You have never had Murph's. No, Holy that's cow. Not some of the best crinkle fries you will find. Yes, yes. Merch is good. So those three were there. Not only that, there was another one. It was Burger Boy, and it was something, Merch and something else that was there. But though that was like Burger Central, Bandera Road. And you're right, Pistol Pete's. What pisses me off about pizza places in town was that whatever happened to Showbiz? Chuck E. Cheese bought them out. Oh, yeah. yeah Chuck E. Cheese bought them out. If you're going to buy out Showbiz Pizza then you need to bring the whole fucking band to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. I need the gorilla. I need the rodent that's a chick with a cheerleader. I need Billy Bob, who's the big old bear-looking guy with the banjo. I need the little bird popping its head out of the tub or whatever it was. I, I cannot believe they got rid of that. That was the masterpiece Mitzi, of showbiz. Mitzi was part of the... Mitzi, Mitzi was the, the yeah. cheerleader. The cheerleader yeah. part. I remember, yeah, that that's what pisses me off. Like, come on. Give, give me that back, but you guys got anything else? Because I mean, we can go on forever, and I know this show is like way overboard here. I feel you like got we anything need to part else? Part two, part two, come next week. We'll do a part two. I can, I'm down for a part two for and sure. And we want, like, we want the listeners to like tag us and let us know their favorite spots in San Antonio or their most nostalgic like memories of San Antonio. Because I feel like it's you know, San Antonio is a universal like language. Like we all get it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And we there's a lot of places we're missing. A ton of places. That is for damn sure. So just a quick reminder, April 1st is the Mike Taylor barbecue cook-off. We'll be out there. Bear County Barbecue, uh, well, Bear County Cookers is going to be barbecue. We are entered into the cook-off. We'll have, uh, we should have Machismo Libre and Special Leaf there as well, giving some samples, also selling some of their products as well, if I'm not mistaken. Candace will be there. I'll be out there. Rock's going to be out there. Stats, are you going to be out there early or you got to work and you're coming out there later? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be able to go. No, okay. So, Honestly, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I know Shamaya won't be there because he's got an event that he'll be at. Stats will try to make it. I believe Derek's going to be there as well. So you'll, we'll have a good amount of people from Soup the League there as well. So can don't we, want to miss it. Match, can we match, Rudy, me, you, and Candace? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, as long as you don't make me do the short shorts again, that's... I mean, I'll always wear short shorts, but I mean, I don't want to match, dude. <laughs> well, but I'll also match? wear my, my little lemon shorts because I'm bougie like that. Oh. Ooh. What the hell are <laughs> Lulu lemon shorts? It's like all the, like the bougie kids are wearing it, Rudy. I don't, I can't even spell bougie to be honest with Rudy, you. Just imagine your pain, like, you know, you're trying to get some good shorts, you know, some little the knee shorts because I know you don't rock with, uh, above the knee. But you're paying ninety dollars for some shorts. Just, yeah. just know that. Bro, I was pissed off paying eleven dollars for my basketball shorts that I bought. I'm, I'm not paying ninety dollars for shorts, like at all. There's no way. But I'm gonna look up lemon whatever shorts here in a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious about this here. Um, but for Candace, for Rock, join us next week on uh, the Mike Taylor Cookout. We're gonna come back with part two on San Antonio folklore here on Sweep the League. And shout out to Special Leaf. T, shout out to uh, Machismo Libre. We've got a lot more content coming out for you guys. And we're actually going to try to go live, I think, at the cook-off, too, for a little bit. So we'll uh, we'll give you more details as it comes. Remember, Mike Taylor cook-off next week, uh, next Saturday, April 1st. We're going to be giving away tickets so you can get yourself a free plate of barbecue from the Taylor cook-off. So for Candace, for Rock, for Sats, this is Rudy Convos. So we sweep the league again next week. We'll see you all soon. Oh, yeah.